Oh, yeah. Last roll of the dice, how are you feeling as you head into the weekend? Uh, yeah, I feel quite calm about it. I feel excited about the, the game. Um, I think we all look, you want to be in these type of big games, perhaps not at the bottom of the table, at the top of the table, but nevertheless, you know, the atmosphere is going to be electric. It's going to be, um, it's going to be a game where you don't get these type of, these type of atmospheres or scenarios very often. So, you know, we have an opportunity to, to step up. We've had an opportunity for the last few weeks, hasn't quite managed to go our way. So, um, like you say, we've got one more roll of the dice. One dice has gone down the drain. I think I had three dices to start with. One, two, two are down the drain, and we've got one left. So, so yeah, we've got to hope we uh, hope we roll a six, shall we say? What qualities do you need to see from your players this weekend? Yeah, I think look, I think you know, I think the qualities are obvious in this type of scenario. I think the qualities are the ones that you need to be a top team, reg regardless. Um, and, and certainly, there'll be a moment where we have to understand as a club that you know sort of 10 seasons down or eight seasons down there the bottom of the table is not not what Birmingham City should be all about and I think the future is incredibly bright regardless but um, I think the qualities you need you, you have to I always say it look, of course you have to show quality you have to show composure under pressure you have to show all of those elements of good football in in competitive situations but most importantly of all when your fans are there in full voice, like they have been in, in all the home games since we've been here, and we've won two out of three of them and performed very well, um, you have to have that extra edge about you. You have to have that extra bit of running. You have to you know, come out on top in duels because the supporters demand it. You have to demand it from yourself. And, and um, you know, some of those things will, will make just as much difference as the good football. So, so yeah, you've got to find a balance, but it's certainly a time to to step up and bring your bring your A game to the um, to the uh, on Saturday lunchtime, you know, because like you say, it's the last game, it's the last opportunity, but it's a big opportunity, and and um, you should be looking forward to that, ready to ready to test yourself. Norwich almost guaranteed a playoff place. Have you guys got more to fight for? Um, I think we should have. I don't think the game necessarily works like that. I think we, you know, yes, yes, in theory, yes, if you nail it down in black and white, but. And you can go through all the scenarios that David and his Norwich team have to face. You know, do, do they need to win the game? Are they thinking about players that maybe need a rest, or are they thinking about you know injured injured players that maybe you know don't need to take the risk? But I, but I think for us, it's really clear. I think you have to expect the best Norwich team to turn up. Um, I think they're a very good team. I think they're a very athletic team. We know that. We know they're one of the top. They have the top running stats in the division. They're, they're a team that work here physically as well as um, technically, technically and tactically. So we have to be ready for all of those elements. Um, but most, most of all, we have, to, we have to more than match their energy. We're at home. Like I said, our home form has been pretty good. Uh, and we know our fans usually lift the players to, to, to better performances than we showed away from home. If you could keep Birmingham City in the Championship, what would that mean to you and where would it run? Yeah, listen, it wouldn't, look, it'd mean a lot to me because of the fans. It'd mean a lot to me because of a job that I've been brought in to do. Of course, it's a, you know, it's a strange scenario sometimes at this stage of a season, um, but it's hard to build certain things in, into the group in, in such a short space of time. But I think it boils down to this one game. Um, you know, I think over 46 games, we haven't shown the consistency for different reasons that, you know, it's not for me to answer. Um, and I think in the seven games we've had, we've been pretty close. I think we've been more resilient. I think we've found a balance, just not quite a balance enough to win enough games and, and get enough points. So we have another opportunity to do it. If we can do it, fantastic. But it'll be for the fans. It won't be. It won't be so I can sit there and pat myself on the back. And you know that's not what it's about. It'll be about the club and about the fans. And, and like I said before, you know, then I've done my job properly and I can. I can walk away and go on holiday somewhere nice. And after that? Who knows? Yeah, who knows? I mean, that's the, the life of a manager. The life of a manager, um, when, you're bit, when you're out of work or you've been out of work, um, you know, it's always that waiting by the phone to see where the opportunity comes. But again, that, those things are so far away from my mind at the moment. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a, like I said, even though it's an <coughs> interim position, the responsibility of keeping Birmingham in a championship happily will lay firmly on my shoulders and, and I'll feel that way as well. 
um, you know, and um, yeah, we'll do everything we can to prepare the team so they're ready for the weekend. You've not been told if you will or could continue beyond this season? No, that's not, no, that's never a question I've ever asked because Tony's the, Tony's the manager of the football club and, and until someone tells me differently or he tells me differently, that's, you know, but, but again, that's not my concern, you know, I'm contracted to, um, to the club for these games. Um, that was always the agreement. Uh, you know, it, it was something that, like I said before, it would have been very easy for me to turn around and say, why would I take that risk? Um, but it was something that I just felt as though morally I wanted to do. I wanted to give it the best shot. And, and um, you know, here we are with an opportunity to, to, um, to see if we can, we can get it over the line. Thank you. Thank well. you very much. Um, Gary, full house in St Andrews. The fans have really got a role to play this week, haven't they? Yeah, I think at home our fans have a role to play all the time. I think I said it when I first came in, but when this place is rocking, when, when this place is full, uh, I think this will be the third full out in four home games. Um, so fans have certainly got behind the team in and, and, and full voice. Uh, and it makes a difference. It makes a huge, huge difference. I know every club, every manager will say the same about their own fans. But I think at, uh, at St Andrews, it, it makes such a huge difference. And, and um, you know, what we've got to do now is, I, I think that's the given for the weekend. The given is the atmosphere is going to be electric. The given is the fans are going to be there spurring the players on. What we've got to do is we've got to make sure the team that goes out there feeds off that and, and, and does what's required in terms of the min, you know the, the, the not the minimum the, the, the maximum that we need um, from the performance, which has so many elements to it and so many things within the game can test that as well. You know, so you can have a plan for all eventualities, but one thing you know with any game like this is you're gonna have to react pretty quick within the game as, as a player and a and a manager. So yeah, look, looking forward to the challenge. Um, I would love to be in a different position as we go into it. Um, I'm not going to lie, but we're here because we haven't won enough games of football, and, and um, you know we've got to see if we can step up and win win a home game. There's a little bit of disconnect at the end of the Huddersfield game, wasn't there, between the fans and the players? Jay Stansfield got a bit upset. Does that worry you, or could we just can you as a club and the players bury that and actually focus on what's important? Yeah, I, I didn't see it as a disconnect. I saw it more as a disappointment that maybe the crowd felt. The team could have done a little bit more within the game, and, and that's that's natural. That's I've said this before. When you pay your hard-earned money, when you travel up and down the country like like our fans have done for so many years, without seeing a, a top team finishing at the top end of a division, um, you're going to expect they're disappointed if the players they, they feel like the players haven't shown that same commitment. And um, you know that's that's been the focus of the week. We've got to give them something back. Um, we've got to have that pride within ourselves to put a big performance in um, and then we've got to stay calm as well because it's okay talking about all these things but you can't allow these things to put external pressure on and, and not play the game you want to play so so yeah there's always a balance with it um, but yeah I'd, I'd never complain about the fans being disappointed at the end of the game um, you know and, and uh, but we've got one more opportunity and we've got to make, make the most of it. Let's talk about communication because it is a complicated picture. I mean, I know Birmingham City have to win as the end of the story, but how will you keep on touch of, of things that are going elsewhere? Yeah, we've done it the last two or three games. We've had an eye on the results. Uh, we knew that the weekend we had to try and win the game. We knew at the point, at point where Sheffield Wednesday um, were winning that it meant we had to win anyway. But I think that's been the mentality anyway. You can't just go and win a game because you want to. You know, you can't just win a game because you know, another game's drawing, but, you, but at that point you can throw the dice with the subs and you can try and be as attacking as you possibly be. It doesn't mean you're going to be attacking, it just means that that's your intention. Um, but we've been aware of the results in games just because I think objectively you have to be, you know, you have to do that. Um, and, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really shape how you feel about the game, it just allows you to make some more informed decisions. And we'll be exactly the same on Saturday, you know, I think we need to know. But at the same time, you know, if you're one nil up or whatever that might look like, you can't rely on one of the other teams not scoring a 94th minute winner. So at the same time, you still have to be mindful of your own performance and, and making sure you do your, your part of the bargain, which is very clear for us. It's win the game. You know, it's win the game or, or not. In my opinion, I don't think a draw is even anything we can consider, even if another team's losing by a certain... I, I don't think it makes any difference to us. It's win the game and do everything we can to win the game. In the bigger picture, obviously you were a manager here 
seven years ago. You've only been here a few weeks, but I mean, maybe perhaps to cheer Blues fans up, can you see a progression in the club that regardless of what happens this weekend, that maybe there are some brighter days ahead? Because as you just alluded to, the fans have been supporting the team that have been scraping down the bottom of the Championship for way too long now. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's hard to necessarily say a progression in terms of eight years ago we were challenging for the top six and they've struggled to do that since. I think what I would say is from an ownership perspective, you know, from the from the moments that I've shared with the owners, from the conversations I've had face to face and on the phone, because there's been quite a lot of conversation throughout. Um, and I would be incredibly infused with the future and I would be, and, I, and I bear in mind, I've been here with different ownership groups of this, this club. And I would say, you know, um, you know, it, the, the future is incredibly exciting. I know it's hard to say right now because, of course, we stand on the, the brink of something terrible or something fantastic, but, but ultimately, I think this, this club's in safe and very exciting hands. And, and um, you know, I think that'll show over the next period of, of time. And I think that'll show regardless of what happens Saturday. I, I don't think Saturday's gonna deter where this club's gonna end up, but of course, we can certainly make that journey a lot easier and a lot shorter um, if we go and win. Gary, thank you. Good luck. Thank you.